Okay, so the last bit was just a bit about working with easel and um, sort of setting cut depths, selecting um, tool bits, um, defining tool bits rather, and setting doing setting cut settings. So in easel, when you want to connect to the machine, if it hasn't connected, you will see a blue carve button here. So what I'm going to do now is, if I just hit the blue carve button, it can't find your machine. So I haven't actually plugged the machine in yet, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, actually, there it goes. It's plugged in now, so it cannot find the machine. So setting up the machine, um, it'll ask you these questions. So in ours is a Gerbil machine, so choose uh, other Gerbil as the machine type, and the model is just choose other is fine. Um, easel stroke needs to know the COM port so it can connect. So enter COM port manually. So it's it's currently on two. So to find the COM port, once you've installed the drivers, which will be on the memory stick, or you can download from the miniMiller.com website. If you go to uh, device manager, so in there we go, device manager. Okay, so in ports, COM and LVT. If you expand that this USB serial is the port that the Mini Miller is connected to. So if I unplug it, it'll disappear, and then back in again, it'll pop up again. So USB serial, it's updating, I mean USB serial, CH340, and it tells you the COM port, which is the serial communications port, so it's on 7, so we can go back to easel and type in 7 as the port down here, 7, and then hit OK, and we should start to see, here we go, it goes green. Once it goes green, it means it's established communication with the machine. And when you, for example, here you can jog, so you can jog the machine, um, one mil, ten mil. Um, you can use keyboard controls too, which is actually quite useful, for, especially for setting homing, um, so that you can jog the machine there to set uh, position. And likewise, when you hit carve, it takes you through the process for starting to carve the material. So it's asking about material thickness, which we say, yeah, 15 mil, confirm, it, we've secure the material down, um, so either screw or tape, or some people use super glue. Uh, secure material, we confirm the bit, so yes, the bit is 2mm, uh, confirm that. Confirm work zero, so this is where you need to um, jog the machine to the bottom left corner, just above uh, the work, almost pr pretty well touching actually, and then you say use new position, so that's defining the zero 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 position then uh, almost ready to go. So raise the bit, click that, and then manually turn the spindle on. So flick the switch for the spindle, and when the spindle is on, it's all primed and ready to go. So then just hit the carve button, which I will do uh, and show you what happens um, in the next video.